There are numerous opportunities for prospective candidates to enter the software development industry and build their skills from there on. However, it's important that you work in an environment that's supportive and helps you grow as a professional. Otherwise, you'll have a tough time prospering your company and reaching your full potential as a developer. But how do you tell if your organization's work environment will be supportive? It may seem strange, but evaluating your software engineering manager is a thing, and it's something that you need to do when you're interviewing. Now, a lot of you might be wondering that it's the managers that interview the candidate during the interview, so how does it work the other way around? More importantly, why is it needed? So why evaluate a software engineering manager? Evaluating your manager can be for different reasons, and it's a consistent trait across different industries, let alone the software industry. As a candidate, you may need to evaluate your boss to understand whether you can work under them for the long term. The way I see it, you need to evaluate your manager to understand whether you can sync with your manager to work on projects, if your manager has the traits that make them a good leader, if they have enough technical expertise that can guide you through complicated projects, and whether your manager is supportive of career-oriented professionals or they just want to get the job done by their subordinates. So having an evaluation of your software engineering manager can help you get a bigger picture of the organization that you'll be working in. Therefore, you'll get a fair bit of an idea of how likely you'll be to survive in these conditions. But here's the punch. All this evaluating must happen within the time of an interview meeting. So you have a fairly limited time to analyze your possible future manager and to understand how you need to go about it if you're selected for the job. So how do you evaluate someone who is interviewing you for a job? Here are a few things to consider. First, picture your ideal boss. This is a preliminary step, and it comes before you need to go into the interview. You need to make a rough image of what you think the ideal software engineering manager is for you. Here are some traits that you can focus on. One, how honest are they when they're speaking to you about the job and their team? Is he or she offering you the right job role that fits your talent? Second is management style. Do you want someone who lets you be creative or do you want someone that's gonna be specific in micromanaging? Three, your ideal manager must be a good mentor. They should propel your career to new heights with their expertise and valuable insights from time to time. Next, you should focus on your instincts. During an interview, take brief stops to analyze the situation and see where the manager meets your requirements that you imagined in the previous step. Sometimes we are so immersed in getting the job that we overlook the value of analyzing our manager. For instance, try to figure out from the type of questions whether the manager will support you in bringing your own creative solutions to the table, or are they willing to give you a present instruction format and ask you to code through that. But it's important to go with your instincts. Here observe how your manager reacts to your comments and questions because their reactions dictate the future of your relationship with the company. At the end of the interview, take inventory of your conversations and ask if you could see yourself working closely with this person for years to come and that they'll put your career on the right track so you can grow. Next, you need to ask questions too. The interview is a two-way process with both the employer and the employee trying to figure out the traits and skill levels. Be sure to ask questions to better understand the expectations for the new hire and what they'll be working on. How the manager and the team will train new members on the team is another important question. It's also important to understand the typical growth or promotion cycle, what it looks like for a new developer. You don't want to get too carried away by asking all these things, but I think it's important that the manager you're interviewing with is familiar with the promotion tracks and have navigated those channels before with other peers, because they'll be the single most important factor in your career trajectory within the company. Now you need to prepare for the interview. If you're going into an interview unprepared, you only have yourself to blame for a bad outcome. More importantly, focus on your manager and find out the brief history, their tech background, and what they have done so far in the industry and the company that you're interviewing for. With sufficient homework knowledge, you can pose better questions to the manager and build a stronger picture of yourself as a developer on their team. If you have no clue about who you'll interview for the job, you most likely find yourself in a difficult position or you cannot do much about it on the spot. Type the manager that you're interviewing with's name on Google or LinkedIn to find about their experience. You can take a look about other videos that I've made about how to prepare for a software engineering interview for some more tips and tricks. Next, meet your colleagues on the team that you're interviewing for. Before or after an interview, try to get in touch with the potential colleagues. Find out more about your manager's abilities and company environment. It gives you a mental image of your manager and helps you prepare accordingly for the interview and the possible job role later. However, many professionals aren't keen on sharing too much information straight away. Therefore, your queries about the manager must be subtle and intelligently placed to give yourself a better chance of finding the right information. 
Questions like, what was an experience as a new member on the team and how has your career progressed under your manager is a good option. Here's some more areas to focus on. While I've discussed most of the things that you should do, here are a few important pointers to consider. Focus on how your manager treats you during the interview. Make sure you do a lot of research on your potential interviewer and the company to know what questions you can expect during the interview process. Mention technical terms relevant to the opening during the interview to see how the manager reacts to your knowledge and if they're competent, they'll lead the discussion forward into that niche. Consider your gut feeling about the manager because it's likely to be true. Find out how your manager approaches a leadership style by asking relevant questions. Watch my video on three things all software engineers must know before interviewing now to get some more interviewing tips. See you in there.